Okay, welcome back to FTL. Today we'll be playing through with the Type B layout of the Zoltan ship, the Noether, which I'm going to rename because I don't actually know how to pronounce that. There we go. Keeping it classy. Now this ship has a pretty interesting starting armament. It's got two ion blasts and a pike beam. Which is very nice. Uh, the only drawback is it doesn't start off with shields. Uh, the system is installed, but you still have to pay a hundred scrap for that first upgrade to get a functioning rechargeable shield. It's not as much of a handicap as in, say, the stealth ship, but it's definitely a, a worry. Especially in an asteroid field facing off against an enemy with an ion weapon and a drone. This is not going to go well. First jump the game, and I might not survive it. Oh, they're surrendering. Um, hmm. Nah, screw it. Oh, that was actually smart when you got through there. The only trouble now is that we have our door systems are out of commission, and there's a fire in our oxygen bay, and we have really delicate crew members, and we are just getting hit everywhere. So if I can get out of here, hopefully this is a safe sector. Okay start fixing some stuff up. If our door is repaired, we can put out the fire in you know, a couple of our system rooms now. Hopefully that'll go out before our engines go down, but it doesn't look like it. Ah, very close, but no good. Alright. Now let's see if we can get that oxygen fixed before these guys pass out. The trouble with repairing systems is that if you don't repair a full block before you leave the room, uh, it just goes back to being completely unrepaired. I was holding my breath there to see if they would make it. such a delicate crew, uh, your two priorities after getting shields are definitely getting more crew and upgrading your door system in whichever order you do it. These guys are trying to get away, but they probably won't get the chance. That's good because we know there's a store, <clears throat> so we have a set location to head for on the map. good when you can take down an enemy ship in one shot like that. That is a lot of fire. Okay. I 
think we'll be able to get out of here before we take another hit from that sun. And unfortunately, we jump right into another fight, and our weapons are rapidly being depleted. Alright, that actually wasn't so bad. I just have to wait for the air to refill that room, and then I'll be able to man my weapons again. I can use all of them, which is always a good thing. I was instinctively like, oh shit, he's got a missile launcher, and then I remembered that I have his Zoltan shield, and I don't have to worry about those as much. two stores right here. Let's see what we've got. Nothing I want, really want to buy there, and unless there's something amazing here, I'm going to need this money to get myself some shields. see if it's more efficient to fire everything all at once. Eh, it's about the same. I think it's interesting that the ion blasts fire simultaneously, but they don't hit simultaneously, which is actually kind of nice. I'm not sure how the game would determine what happened if like, both ion blasts hit the shield at the exact same moment. our Zoltan. We have a Mantis to fend off borders, which is always good. And we have a Rock Band to deal with fires. <laughs> and of course I jump right into an asteroid here. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and we won't get hit by every single asteroid that comes in. At least we took down his weapons before he could get off a shot. And took him. So that's one threat dealt with. Now I just gotta wait for our engines to charge. Shields out, but I think I can get away. I really want to answer that distress call, but I can't really afford to fight the rebel fleet right now. free stuff. Very nice. Okay, let's move on to Sector 2. Absolutely not going to a Manus controlled sector in this ship. They would just dice my crew. In 
fact that reminds me, now would probably be a good time to upgrade my doors. Just to make dealing with borders a little bit easier. Alright, this should be a fairly simple fight. He's not going to be able to get through my shields before I can disable his weapons. And in a case like this, there is no reason to wait to shoot your ion weapons. I mean, you want to turn off his systems as quickly as you can. It would be nice to get some more firepower as well. I do like that this ship comes with the full four weapon slots. It gives you a lot more flexibility than with some of the other ships. You get a pretty nice reward for that, too. Disable a defense system and get enough to finally upgrade our shields. One shield isn't great for, what, the third sector, but this is better than nothing. Okay, we've got Mantis, but they don't actually have a teleporter, so... Don't have to worry about borders, this should be okay. really cool, but Pike Beam is nice because it fires relatively quickly and you can just hit so many systems on the ship depending on the layout. And oh, the fleet really got a move on me there. Okay. their weapons and target their engines. I don't think they're going to have a chance to get away, but better safe than sorry. Alright, let's check out the store. An actual good drinking game for these videos would probably be to take a drink every time I say, let's check out the store. Because then you'd get real drunk, but you uh, you wouldn't actually die. Okay, we have some weapons here. I think I definitely want that small bomb, actually. That'll be an excellent backup weapon. Don't really have anything I want to sell. I don't know what kind of madman would ever sell the Zoltan shield. It's just suicide. empty sector. And another pirate. Well, these guys have a drone. Let's see, hopefully my ion blasts can disable it. No such luck immediately, but we do have a shield, so he's not as much of a threat as he would have been in the first sector. probably won't use it, but it's good to have. Alright, time to get out of this sector. And 
I'll make this a slightly shorter update, so I'm going to cut off this video here, and I'll catch you guys next time for Sector 3.